Let's see how to convert Excel data into either HTML, XML, JSON or any other different formats using only automation in your A360 native actions. So we are not going to use any other tools. And here we have a sample Excel spreadsheet. There we have few columns of ID, date, product, amount and discount as well as the data. Now my current requirement is I need to convert all these data into HTML, XML and JSON format. You can implement the same logic for other formats also. So let's see the code. First we have Excel basic open. We are just opening the spreadsheet using Excel basic. Either you can use Excel advanced also. That's up to you. We are calling the spreadsheet and sheets contains a header because I know the heading name. That's the reason I am using sheets contains header. If you are not sure about the column heading name, then you can uncheck this and I'll explain you how we can extract the column heading and all. And next we are using get multiple cells. So here what I am doing is using the get multiple cells action. I am selecting all rows range method all rows. I am extracting all the rows and assigning that into one of the data table variable. I have created a data table variable. So all these values will be assigned into data table variable and then I am closing the Excel spreadsheet since everything is assigned to table variable and next we are looping through each and every row in table using the for each row in a table uh, action and here we have selected the table variable as TAB Excel sheet data where it comes from the line number 3 we have assigned the values into TAB Excel sheet data table variable and then we are assigning the record variable REC table row like so in this data table we have a whole data each and every row like while looping through each and every row will get assigned to this REC table row variable for an example automation and variable will loop through each and every row one by one so first time it will get uh, the date of 2-8-2023 product one second time it will get product 2, third time product 3, like that it will process. So I have assigned each and every row one by one, it will get assigned into this record variable REC table row. And next we are assigning the REC table row, the column into str date variable. Let me show you that how we can do that. So for that one, let me select the REC table row. And here we have two options. One is by name or by index. If you are sure about the column headings, in my case, I am sure I have only few headings like date, product, amount, discount. And in your case, if you are not sure about the column headings, then you need to go with by index. In my case, it's date. By name is date. In your case, so if you want to extract all the columns and all the data, then go with by index so by index always starts with zero zero will be the first column one will be the second column like that and the row like so the first row it's representing the heading id date product amount discount right so for that one in this case you can use by index zero and if you can, now you need to assign the number variable so let me assign the number variable let's assign that and let's create like counter just counter a new m counter variable as zero because of we are going to increment the number each and every time sorry once the loop starts it will increment NUM counter and assign the value to NUM counter if if number condition NUM counter is equal to 1 then you can consider that as a column heading so here in my case, I know about the 
column heading i am going to extract few columns date product that's it and if in your case if you are not sure about the column headings this method you can use it like 0 and 1 so this will be str product heading you can create one more variable your product heading and this one you can consider heading 1 heading 0 something like that or your date heading. that's it so you will get the headings only for the first row you will get assigned into str date heading and str product heading variable and next time each and every row will get assigned to this variable REC table row is equal to this. I'll change this logic. REC table row by name. I am sure about the column heading, so I'll go with the by name. So date and product. I have assigned only str date and str product. Then I am using the HTML logic. For this one, I have used HTML logic. Let me show you the code here. So here we have a sample HTML code. So this is for the HTML table. In email or anywhere, if you want to display as a table, you need to use this HTML code. For that one, in each rows, it should assign to this uh, node. So this is for the each row. This is for the final HTML. Like each and every row will get append. Let me show you here one by one. So you can consider this is for the first row, this is for the second row, this is for the third, fourth, something like that. It will get up and once everything is done, at the end you need to assign table in between the all these uh, values. I'll show you how I have done it. So in this case, in between the TD, we are going to pass the str date variable and the next TD will be str product so tr means table row td means table heading that's it. very simple logic so here we have used str we are assigning the values into str row html variable here first we have a str row html variable because of while it's looping through the each table it will it should append then tr it starts with tr and then td td means table column so this is for one column and the next one is for next column td and product that's it we have just tr once all the values will be assigned into this str row html then at the final last we are adding this tag table tag like the same you need to add the final tag after the uh, loop actions completed like in html initially you will use just this node and once everything is done you can convert you can add you know you can add the final steps like if you want to add uh, at the beginning if you need something at the end if you need something you can add it the json also you can see so this is the expected one and if you need to add at the end you need to add these logics right employees and product you can add at the end i'll put this in the video description the sample code you can refer these so this is the sample line let me run this part and you can see the result very simple one i have just assigned these and for now just for testing purpose i have used the heading if you want to use the column index that's up to you so let me disable this column index and run this part okay perfect we got the result here you can see the result so one by one it's added like all the values as added into the message box and this final final result has been combined and message box has been displayed like this you can use either xml just very simple logic let me show you the json logic now 
if you want to use json so after this you need to assign the str date into this variable 